The Open Hospitals project in Syria turns five years old. The project began in 2017 from an instinct of Cardinal Mario Zenari, Apostolic Nuncio to Syria, and was entrusted to the management of the Avsi Foundation. Thousands of poor people in need of treatment received free healthcare services thanks to the involvement of three Catholic hospitals, the Italian and French hospitals in Damascus and St. Louis Hospital in Aleppo. With a conference in Rome in the setting of the Palazzo della Cancelleria, AVSI wanted to take a first stock of this experience, but above all it wanted to bring back to the forefront a reality, the Syrian one, which has now disappeared from the news. We have treated about 80,000 people to date, with the goal of reaching 140,000 services, always free of charge, by 2024. The project to date has raised 17 million euros, largely due to fundraising campaigns and other large private and public donations. The Vatican has always supported and followed this initiative, both economically and in terms of diplomacy and dialogue. All democratic Western countries have taken back their ambassadors. The Holy See has preserved diplomatic relations trying to maintain dialogue and also to nudge a little bit. I brought a letter from the Pope after I returned to Damascus with the Cardinals Biretta to thank the President because they had sent a delegation, but there was also something clear in the letter. Open Hospitals has had an impact on the Syrian reality from the health point of view, but also from the point of view of social cohesion and coexistence among different communities in a country where Christians are 2% of the population. These are Catholic hospitals run by congregations that provide free health care to beneficiaries, the poor Syrian population comprised of 90% Muslims. It has reactivated mechanisms of trust between different religious communities. Sister Arcangela connected from Aleppo to give her testimony. The member of the Sisters of St. Joseph of the Apparition has been in Syria for more than 50 years and works at her congregation's St. Louis Hospital. The hospital, founded in 1905, has always been functioning during the war years thanks to the support from the Open Hospitals project. But the situation, says Sister Arcangela, is increasingly dire. They go to the market, look around and don't get to buy. The bins in the streets have become a source of food for the poor. And it is very sad to see our staff so hungry that they would finish the trays of the sick. In the past year, the hospitals have also been joined by four dispensaries which operate in rural areas. We also have the medical dispensary, the poor, the patients, the sick of Latakia. 500 people receive their medicine every month. From the conference comes a strong appeal not to turn off the spotlight on Syria and not to abandon this country from the point of view of economic aid, but also from the human point of view, to rebuild hope. I went through difficult moments, moments of fear, moments of instability. I say, only God has helped us, God and also the people who pray for us. Without their prayer, without God's help, we cannot continue. We feel challenged every day to encourage, not to lose hope, and in particular to exhort Christians, and especially young people, to remain in their land, the cradle of Christianity. Please, do not abandon us.